you've been following the previous videos on FileMaker, you'll know we've built our names table, we've built our books table, and then thirdly, we built our borrowed books table. We collect the library number, the book number, and the borrowed books table automatically puts in the name of that person who has that library number and the name of the book, which is that book number. Now, we need to talk a little bit about the date borrowed and the date returned. It would be kind of a useless database if I had to manually go in there and write the date each time a person borrowed a book because it would get really boring. And there's actually a big chance of me making a mistake if I'm typing dates in all day. So what we'll do is we're going to go to Edit Layout, Manage and Database, and we're going to go to the borrowing table there. And where it says Date Borrowed, we're going to click on it. It correctly says Date, but we're going to now click on the Options. And over here, we're going to say Automatically Enter the Following Data, and that's going to be the Creation Date, like that. Now, the Date Returned is slightly more complicated, but not so much so. What we're going to do with the date returned is we want to automatically work out 14 days from when the book was borrowed. Again, we're going to go to Options. We're going to go, rather than creation date, we're going to put in a calculated value. What we're going to do is we're going to take the date borrowed, double click that. We're going to go over to the right and click on the plus sign. And then we're just going to write the number 14, so 14 days. We're going to press OK, OK, and OK. If I now go to browse mode, you can see that nothing's there because the date will only come when I create a new record. So let's do that. And there you can see that the date is the 4th of February 2019. And over here, 14 days later is when the book is due back. Let's put in the library number 100005, Scarlett Johansson, and the book will be 1116. And there we have it. So we now have an automatic way of generating the date when the book was borrowed and also calculating the date the book needs to be returned. Now, just out of interest, if we go to Edit Layout and bring up our Info Panel, you can see that we can actually make these dates a little bit more friendly. And that's done by clicking on that little symbol there. It's like a stack of disks. Going all the way to the bottom and clicking on this little thing that says Format. And I particularly like user-friendly dates that have the, the date, the month, and the year. So this is the European side of things, so we put the day before the month. And I'm going to do the same thing for the date returned, like that. Just going to close that panel down and exit layout. And you can see, for me, this is a little bit more friendly because we can actually see the month and we can see the date in a nice format.